It's not often that the phrase worse than Hitler rings true. Ever since the dawn of the internet, this phrase has been watered down severely. But the man that we're gonna talk about today, Pol Pot, might have been actually worse than Hitler. Or he's at least in the contention for one of the worst human beings who have ever lived. So, for those of you who don't want to hear my thoughts, here's a quick summary about Pol Pot so you can click away from the video. He killed all people who wore glasses. He killed the government workers, so the country was basically an anarchist country. He banned Western medicine and Christianity. He banned books, music, and schools. The life expectancy during his reign was 19 years old. Actually, a tiny bit less. And he basically killed a third to a quarter of the people who lived in Cambodia during his reign. Pol Pot exerted control over his people and he had total control over the entire population. While other dictators directed their violence against groups of people, Pol Pot's enemies were the very thoughts of his own people. To simply think wrong was to be an enemy. Complaining, making a mistake, getting sick, or even loving your parents were all used as evidence for wrong thinking. To be violent against the enemy was glorified. The more callous, violent, and inhuman you were, the more your thinking was correct. Those who had the proper revolutionary consciousness would not only be spared, but they would be promoted. Ultra-violent soldiers, often as young as 14, who had known nothing but war and death their entire lives, were put in charge for thousands of people to keep watch for enemies that hid among them. If they failed, they'd be punished and possibly labeled as the enemies as well. These horrific techniques had won them the war, which they had considered to be the greatest victory in Cambodia's history. When they took control of a country decimated by war, they applied the same quote-unquote successful techniques nationwide in order to rebuild it as fast as possible. They were going to build the greatest communist nation the world has ever seen. They were even going to have a super Great Leap Forward. Borrowing the term from Mao's Great Leap Forward in China, the Khmer Rouge enslaved the entire nation and if anyone didn't love what was happening, it was because they were a traitor and they didn't have the proper consciousness and they would be sent for re-education, punished or simply executed. Because of the hierarchical structure of the Cambodian society, if anyone at any level of the government was found to be a traitor, then everyone below them was infected as well and would be weeded out. They'd be dragged into prisons, tortured until they gave up even more names. They then replaced these people with other, more hardened cadres. And if you were found out to be a spy, your whole family would be smashed as well. They were also afflicted by the imperialist mind disease. You must pull the weed at the roots, is what they would say. He was finally removed from power after the Vietnamese attacked and occupied Cambodia for around 10 years. He died of a heart attack under a house arrest in 1998. Again, like I said at the beginning of the video, there aren't many people who occupy the lot of the worst human beings who have ever lived like Hitler. But Pol Pot was definitely in the contention. There are a few others as well. If you guys are interested, I might make other videos talking about them. But that's it for today. See ya.